go for the goal, the passion of your life. And uh, we have Nemila Devakota from Carolina University. And uh, she is a fourth year student majoring in Spanish and chemistry. Yes. And if it were in Bhutan or in India or Nepal, Spanish and chemistry. Combination. What a combination, right? But it happens in the United States. So my question is, why she chose Spanish and chemistry? And if you have a question, please. The first language. Then came Hindi, then came English. So doing all these languages, I became very good at learning languages and actually um, being good at it and speaking it fluently. So I was exposed to Spanish uh, when I was in 10th uh, grade in high school. And I've continued speak, uh, learning Spanish since then. And I'm going to continue it over my um, rest of my life. And hopefully I can learn more languages. And I actually advise you guys to do that too because um, being multilingual is very important. You have more, better opportunities out there than people who speak only one language. And for me, being a chemistry major, uh, I'm a chemistry major because I want to go to pharmacy school. And I'll be attending pharmacy school next year when I finish my undergrad. And uh, in pharmacy school, after I'm done with it, I would like to work in possibly go to South America and work there as a pharmacist for many, for several years and uh, actually help people out in third world countries and not just be in America and work here and you know, just make money out here. I want to help people and this is another reason I learned Spanish. And, uh, but it's definitely important that you guys in college go ahead and learn other languages because it's going to help you out um, in education wise and also to for more connection. It's, it's a great way of, of being out there and, and really improving your networking skills. And um, to answer your question, um, be who you are. Don't try to change yourself. People, if they want to be your friend, if they want to be in your life, they will accept you for who you are. Do not change for anybody else. Because it's you that is your individual self. That's who you are. That's what matters. Because if you try to change yourself and become somebody else, you're not that, you're not yourself, and whatever you become doesn't really matter to you. Doesn't really matter to anybody else. So if you're yourself, you're yourself. They're gonna have to accept it, and I'm sure your friends are gonna be understanding and accept it. Because if they don't, they won't be your friends. And um, for college, uh, just be yourself. Um, there are many diverse groups of people in college, and just get to know them. Uh, talk to them, be outstanding, go and talk to them, don't be reserved and shy. Uh, try, to, try to go out there and see what's there, you know? Just don't try to like, stay in one place and hoping that somebody would come talk to you or something. And be out there, go out there, and then um, make yourself look like that, you know, you want to know what's going on. Be curious. Um, but um, there, you, you will probably face a lot of challenges, but you can overcome them. Um, when I started my school here, I came here when I was 11 years old from Nepal, and uh, I started seventh grade here, and I had a really tough time actually adjusting to life here because uh, my English wasn't as good as theirs, and my accent was very bad. Um, I couldn't understand people because they spoke really fast, and um, it was tough for a couple, for maybe six months or so because I was by myself trying to like teach myself what to do, and especially being the oldest child in the family, all the responsibility comes on you to help your, help your sisters or brothers understand, and also especially, more importantly, help your parents understand. So a lot of responsibilities lies on you if you're the older, older, um, older um, son or daughter of the family. I accept this honor in behalf of my lovely brother Petan and he was great and always will be and thank, thank you everyone.